Today I'd like to talk about why I chose to do it this way using the Arduino Nano with LCC. Now while the library that David has done with other people can be used with different modules, for me the Arduino Nano is very cost effective and will suit my needs. Because often people think, oh well you've got a lot more outputs that you could have used. Well it's not about that. For me, it's about having a module that will do what I need it to do. So that's why I set the goal of two turnouts and eight input or outputs. Now the Nano is being stretched to its limits doing this with LCC. But for me, this is something I am prepared to live with. Since releasing the last video, I've now switched the release of the JMRI. So the latest beta release, which is 5.9.5, and this gives us a vastly improved user interface. So here you can see the latest CDI or configuration window. And you'll notice here now we've got the sliders and we've got values to help it a little bit when we set it up. Now, this is a vast improvement in my opinion. I am currently working on a few tweaks I'd like to do to it, but here now it's a lot easier and when you make these changes it does happen on the fly. So it will move them servos for you. Obviously you've got a, a nice feature here which is trigger so you can actually move the servo to that position. But then the next time you move it with the slider it will move at the same time so these are all nice features so as i say i'm sorry i still haven't done a little bit more with showing you this but because it is a work in progress and we are pushing the limits with it you know i feel it's worth taking a little bit longer for me to do the experiments and release these videos slowly so you can see we're working on it and we're making i think good steps forward Thank you.